It was the final day of the PIAA track and field season and local District 3 athletes came out strong on day one. As Fox 43's Lindsay Barna tells us, the power of District 3 once again shows out on the final day as well. Student athletes from across the state put it all on the line for the final day of the state track and field championships. District 3 once again has a spectacular showing, taking home a lot of hardware. Day 2 kicks off at the 3200. Good thing it's the first event as the day heats up quick with the temperature and in the events. Chambersburg's Cameron Kaiser doubles up with another 6th place finish and Dallas Town's Kaylee Grander in 8th in AAA. To the boys, Susquehannock's Matthew O'Brien finishes 4th and Lampeter Strasburg's Colin Whitaker finishes 6th. Spring Grove's Layla Campbell once again puts on a clinic. She just misses her 100 meter record by 100th of a second, 11.56. Then it's a 2354 in the 200, missing that record by two hundredths of a second, but proud of what she's accomplished. Doing the three-peat in both events, it took a lot of work to just continue, you know, staying at the same marks and improving. I did point up for last year, this year's point out too, off the mark, so I'm happy with what I did today. Making dad proud, six-time state champ. The hardest thing to do as a sprinter is win from an outside lane. The sophomore Lex Cyrus from lane one knew he had one mission, and that was for 100-meter gold. Chambersburg's Kaysen Biesecker was right with him on the other side of the track. The District 3 duo go one. Too. Back in March, beginning of April, if you would have told me I was, I was going to win states, I don't know, I might look at you like it was crazy. Susquehanna Samantha Wetchler captures the bronze in the AA girls 100 meter hurdles and the triple jump 37 feet 7 inches. AAA hurdle Susquehannock's Riley Marks peaking at the right time runs a blazing silver medal time of 1411 and she can't even believe it. AA boys 110 hurdle Steel High's Daquan McCraw picks up the bronze in 1481 and finishes an eighth in the 300s. And sticking with the hurdle Southwestern's Bernard Bell first places second in the 110s but he he wanted gold and he gets it winning the 300s in 37-28. And I wasn't trying to go home without a gold today. So I pushed myself in that. To the 400, the freshman Cedar Crest Cadell Howard wins indoors and now outdoors smoking fast 54-64. Ships Julian Snyder captures the silver. It means everything because like I've been working hard for like a long time. So for it to like come up to this point, it feels good. Another freshman, Spring Grove's Ella Bond, got after it in the 300 hurdles, 42-62, making it up in the last 75 meters. She also places fifth in the high jump, and speaking of that, Warwick's Katie Becker clears 5-5 for bronze. I mean, the only thing on my mind was getting past them because I wanted first, like, so much. I was really pushing for a good race, and that's what happened. Greenwood's Zane Castle helps the 4 by 8 to bronze while he takes the silver in the open 8, and the old Miss commit, Hemfield's Aiden Hodge, takes gold in the AAA with Tim Roden from Central Dolphin in third. In the 2A girls pole vault, Bermudian Springs Lillian Carlson is the only to clear 12 feet. Trinity's Adeline Woodward takes silver. That was pretty exciting. I really enjoyed it. I think it's fun, the excitement, the adrenaline rush of having one jump to determine pretty much it all. All smiles and Entering the ring, Warwick's Ella Lucas hits a personal record in the 3A discus, 163 feet 9 inches. The senior has a spectacular final season, winning pen relays and now improving her state medal from silver to gold. I was thinking of going to my last throw, I was like, man, this is my last time repping in the Warwick jersey. So I'm happy I got a PR, I'm happy I got the gold, and I had a really great series. Harrisburg's Erica Jackson finishes third and also grabs the bronze in Javelin. Chambersburg's JJ Kelly clears six foot eight for gold in the high jump and finishes third in the long jump. To the relays, Chambersburg's four by one takes the AAA title in 41-49. District three actually sweeps the top spots with Susquehanna Township, then Cedar Crest. McCaskey nearly sweeps all of them. They win the 4 by 8 by 5 seconds, get second in the 4 by 100 by 4 hundredths of a second. Then to close out their final meet together, they hit a personal best to win gold in the 4 by 4. Chambersburg's boys capture the AAA boys team title. This team has been through a lot of up and downs throughout the season and the fact that it's all coming together at this time is perfect timing. And it's just on, it's an honor to even be in this position. An all around awesome weekend for District 3 teams. In Shippensburg, Lindsay Barna, Fox 43.